All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's take a look at this problem. Find the Laplace transform of f of t equal to cos a t using Laplace transform of derivatives. Okay, you know, in some of our previous videos, we have treated this problem using different methods. And then the different method we used, we used uh, the method of substitution and then using first principle. In this lesson, we are going to use a different method. And the method we are going to use is called Laplace transform of derivatives. All right? Good. Now, let's go. You know, we have the function given to us as what? Cos a t. And then we want to use uh, Laplace transform of derivatives. So we are going to differentiate this function f of t. Okay? So when we differentiate this f of t, which is cos a t, is going to give us minus a sine a t. Right? Yes. Now, what if we differentiate for the second time? We are going to have f prime prime of t is equal to minus a squared cos a t. Is this true? Yes. Now, let's go. You know, by definition, the Laplace transform of the second derivative, when we say the Laplace transform of f prime prime of t, what is he talking about? We say by definition, it is s squared, the Laplace of f of t, minus s, f of 0, minus f prime of 0. Okay? Let's call this equation 1. So this is by definition the Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function is giving us s squared, the Laplace of f of t minus s f of 0 minus f prime of 0. Good. Now in this place we are going to find f of 0 and f prime of 0. All right. Good. Now let's go. In the function we have we say that f of t is equal to cos a t. What if we say f of 0? In place of t, we write 0. We are going to have that f of 0 is equal to cos 0. And cos 0 is equal to what? 1. Okay? Good. Now, let's go again. f prime of t. What do we say that our f prime of t is? f prime of t is minus a sine a t. Okay? What if we say f prime of 0. That is, in place of t, we write 0. We are going to have minus a sine 0. So when we say minus a sine 0, it's going to give us 0. All right? Good. Now, having gotten this value, let's substitute in equation 1. Okay? Now, look at this. In equation 1, we have the Laplace transform of f prime prime of t so when we started we we're able to find the second derivative of this function that we are given right good now can we substitute it here yes we say the laplace of in place of f prime prime of t where we have minus a squared cos a t let's write it here we have minus a squared cos a t then equal to we have s squared, Laplace of f of t. What is f of t? f of t is cos a t. Then minus s, f of 0. What is f of 0? f of 0 is 1. Then minus f prime of 0. What is f prime of 0? f prime of 0 is 0. All right? Good. Now, let's go. In the first term here, we have minus a square. Applying linearity property, we can bring this minus a square outside the Laplace, right? So, taking it out, this is what we have. We have minus a squared, the Laplace transform of cos a t is equal to s squared, Laplace transform of cos a t minus s. Is that true? Yes. Again, See what we do. We are going to multiply through by minus 1 and then rearrange. Okay? 
So multiplying through by minus 1, we are going to have a squared, the Laplace transform of course a t, we take the this term in the right hand side to the left. We are going to have plus s squared, the Laplace transform of course a t is equal to s. Okay, now looking at this very carefully, you can see that we have Laplace transform of course a t in the first two terms. But these first and second terms are having different coefficients. The first one is having a squared as the coefficient, and then the second one is having s squared as the what? The coefficient. Now let's factor out this Laplace transform of cos a t from these two terms. So when we factor it out, the coefficient will be remaining, which is a squared plus s squared. All right, good, equal to s. You know, we are actually looking for the Laplace transform of cos a t. So in this case now, we try to make this Laplace transform of cos a t to stand alone by dividing both sides by the coefficient of this Laplace transform of cos a t, which is a squared plus s squared. So when we divide both sides by this coefficient, we are going to see that the Laplace transform of cos a t is equal to s all over a squared plus s squared, which is the definition of the Laplace transform of cos a t using Laplace transform of derivatives. All right? Yes, we have succeeded in finding the Laplace transform of cos a t using the Laplace transform of derivatives. And then in our previous video, as we said, we also see different methods that we can solve this. All right? Please, I want you to go through over the videos and then get yourself familiar with these methods. All right? Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Please, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do well to subscribe, like our videos, share it, and stay blessed.